Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading for September 23rd through the 29th. I'm going to be taking a look at where you're currently at right now, where you're heading through the week, as well as the internal, external energies affecting your situation and your outcome. Now this is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. And please remember that time is fluid. It. So this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future. However, the focus is for the week of September 23rd through the 29th. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. And just to let you know, at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message for you from the Spirit Messages Oracle Deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading. So please show me where cancer is currently at in their situation where they're heading through the week internal external energies affecting them and the outcome please all right last shuffle All right. Hmm. There's some difficult things coming up in your week, and it's not a bad situation. It's more like a spirit wants you to recognize these things so you can work with the energy on changing what is happening. Okay, so the chariot comes out as your current energy, which is great, you know, feels really good. You're in your element. Um, you are finding that willpower to keep going, but it feels like because of where things are heading in the week, it could change that can that fast moving energy can change. Some of you might have to take a road trip somewhere. You're traveling for work. Um, we do have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. People are going to be challenging you in this week to come. So it's, you know, you're being told to pay attention to those things because where you're heading is this 10 of swords and someone could betray you in this week to come, or it could be a very difficult situation happens. And the reason that it's happening is your internal energy that comes out, which is your energy, the four of pentacles. So there's some stubbornness and not wanting to change. It's like something needs to change and the energy around you is waiting for you to make that change and accept it because the three of wands comes out as the external energy affecting your situation someone is waiting or the energy around you is waiting for things to change and for you to step out of your um stubbornness of like nope this is the way it is um because there's something about something needs to change in the week and so that way you can move into um, something that's more aligned for you because if not we do have the outcome coming out as the fool in reverse now this could be somebody tied up to you who acts very foolish and naive and is ruining things with you as things are progressing then there's something that happens here and now the four of pentacles could also say you know i'm not changing my mind on being more lenient with this person but there's also um the fact that if this is a person that let's just say there's a certain type of person or relationships that you attract in your life or you accept people in your life and you know that every time you do it doesn't work out because it ends in a ten of swords that's where that change is coming in like the the universe and spirit is trying to like wake you up and say okay you've got to stop accepting these people in your life because they're not good for you you've got to make that change for yourself so which can be very difficult when we try and see the intentions of people in a good way at first but we know that if we keep accepting the same type of person in our life it's 
it's going to continue to unfold the same way moving forward. However, I really want to uh, clarify your reading. So we're going to start with the chariot and then move through the rest of it, Cancer, because this is a very important reading for you for the week ahead to prepare you. And it's like to prepare you to avoid certain things um, and to let you know that something needs to happen in order for you to keep progressing forward with that chariot. So let's go ahead and clarify the chariot, please. All right, now this does feel like a relationship because the chariot is clarified by the Knight of Cups, the Temperance card, the Seven of Pentacles, and then the Four of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Now that relationship can also come in the form of what your home life and your stability is like. So how you keep your four walls you know, upright, you know, providing for yourself, things like that, making sure that your stability in your home life is good. But, you know, this willpower of moving forward, everything's happening really fast with a true love calling, okay, the Knight of Cups. And it feels very harmonized with that temperance card, you know, practice patience, something you've waited for, and it pays off in this rewarding relationship here. Now, whether this is true love with someone or something that's bringing you to your true love and calling in life, it depends on your situation because everybody's working with something different. So, you know, it does feel good though, but let's see what that Ten of Swords is about. About. Maybe, you know, the Ten of Swords can also sometimes be like letting go of something that feels like it's going to hurt to let go of it because something else is calling you in a different direction. Okay, so the Ten of Swords is clarified by the Hermit, the Page of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Um, some of you have been single for a while that you're really guarded when it comes to trusting someone who wants to pour their heart out to you and somebody who's wearing their heart on their sleeve for you. And you're getting that from someone. However, you're very cautious of it. And so that Ten of Swords is saying, you know, you have gone through a lot. You've gone through a painful ending, but that is now changing because this is a new journey. And this is definitely something like look at things, you know, learn more about this relationship, learn more about what truly is making you happy out of it and trust in the love and inspiration that comes from it. Okay. With that page of cups at the bottom of the deck, but we have, we have the Hermit, we have the page of swords and we have the Ten of Cups. There's also the fact that this is a life-changing decision for for some of you that it comes out as like a career move or like a change in your life path here and one that's very beneficial for your growth however it does feel like it hurts to leave something else behind here because it's a permanent ending of I don't want to go back to that but then you're having to reflect on what that means for you and learn you know what truly makes you happy do you want to stay where you're just settling in something you know and never happy with it anymore or do you want to take that chance and look at the cup of you know that's being offered in this page of cups you know is that fish there can I make that fish appear can I you know be inspired by these things that are being presented to me so it's very beautiful energy but because of the four of pentacles coming out as a stubbornness of I'm gonna sit right here this is mine I don't want to let go of it and you know I it, it happens um to all of us don't worry but let's go ahead and clarify that four of pentacles. And like I said, if it's a love situation, it's hard to let go of what you've gone through because it's something that you look at and reflect on as a tool moving forward to keep yourself from getting hurt in the future. Okay. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles is clarified by 
the Ten of Swords, the Lovers, the Death card, as well as the Devil at the bottom of the deck right here. With your internal energy being your energy coming out, you holding on to painful endings and that, you know, they were so bad in relationships is holding you back from a transformation and change that needs to happen. Um, and commitments that can be very good for you. Now, this can also, like I said, come in the form of a career move or a life path change so holding on to that and saying well things have been bad can you know because of the stubbornness can cause a permanent ending in a union that could be transforming and changing for you in a really good way you have to like get up and commit yourself and stop sitting there and saying well I'll do it tomorrow or I don't want to change this right now but I'm not happy with where I'm at um, and that's the message that spirit wants you to know not me I'm just telling you what's coming out <laughs> so um, I can't tell you what to do you can do whatever you want it is your life but these are the messages from spirit so let's go ahead and clarify that three of wands for the energy around you the external energy affecting your situation yeah this energy and this person is waiting for you so I have a person and I have the energy around you of like let's make this happen is waiting for you to accept this as you know your true happiness this is a, a relationship that could be beneficial for your growth it could okay so I have two things and I have one that's a relationship with someone so someone is waiting for you to realize that they're your soulmate and that they you real they're they really want a relationship with you. They want things to be equal, give or take, and they're trying to be patient here, and they're not giving up because they have hope that things will change between the two of you, Cancer. Now, the energy around you is a wish fulfillment of something you want, and it's there for the taking, but the stubbornness of trying to do the same thing the same way all the time and expecting a different result isn't working anymore. And so that energy is like, look, you could have this super stable life like you want. You could have a raise in money you could make more money and now's the time to do it this is what you wish for it's what you ask for have faith in yourself don't doubt yourself and go after this because if not and sitting there and not changing your situation because you're like I don't know if I can or I'm gonna wait to do it is only going to lead to a procrastination of that full card being in reverse here where it's not a fresh new start you're just doing the same thing over again because you know doing the same thing, expecting different results. Um, so it's time to make a little bit of a change is what spirit really wants you to know. And the universe is conspiring for you. Okay. You know, God, if you believe in God, if you pray daily, whatever it is that you believe in, or you just ask for, you know, affirmation, that's another thing. So I'm going to say it like this. I've been reading this amazing book and I thought this is beautiful. Um, there's a book that I'm reading and it says that if you take the time to realize that there's magic all around you, all around you and stop for a second and you ask for a sign from the universe from your spirit guides from god whatever you believe in send me some kind of sign and you see that sign don't take it as a coincidence take it as that's confirmation that's affirmation of what you're asking for should i make this change should i believe more in myself should i give this a chance when you see these things and it can be in the form of asking for um you know animals to show up or certain flowers or objects things like that any kind of sign if that sign shows up for you uh, then you will know if you are you know, on the right path to doing what you're asking about, or if you should make that change or trust in the love that somebody's trying to give you, if you're still kind of doubtful, um, cause it can be hard. And I will tell you that I had an amazing sign given to me last week and we're not in the season right now for purple flowers to be coming out. We're in the fall season and I asked for a purple flower. And the first one I saw was like this weird looking one, but then on the way home, I saw, I'm not kidding, I saw over 300 purple flowers on the way home, just in different places, and it was so empowering, and it just really, I, it was so spiritual that I just, I, I was like out of my skin, like, oh my gosh, I need to tell someone, so if you are still unsure about something, um, ask for a sign, you know, because the universe, your spirit guides, God is going to give you a sign. So let's go ahead and clarify that full in reverse for your outcome. And always remember, you can change this through the week. You know, 
Now knowing ahead of time, you can shift these energies because you know what you're working with and you know what you need to do. So there's this block in taking this leap of faith or having this fresh new start, new beginning, because you feel like you need to learn more about if you should take this leap of faith before you really go after it. And the universe is really pushing you forward here. So we have the page of pentacles, the fool and the eight of wands. You're feeling that intuitive feeling. You're feeling the universe push you and say, go for it. It's all about trusting in the unknown, you know, and it and feels like you need um, a concrete like written in stone message or, you know, affirmation that you should do something. But like I said, ask for signs and you shall receive them, but have your eyes wide open and your heart, you know, open to receiving those signs and synchronicities through the week and what they mean and pay attention, you know, and when we accept them and whenever we say, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. We are respecting, um, what the universe spirit guides God is giving you by aligning with those signs that we receive and saying, okay, you know, whatever your intuition is telling you that intuitive feeling that you get when you act upon something you feel is right. Um, just like, you know, not to cross the road. If there's a car coming, right. Your intuition tells you don't do that. So, um, like I'm, I shouldn't do that. I'm going to get hit or whatever. So listening to yourself in that way, and respecting that intuitive feeling is going to align you more and you're going to have more signs happening, more synchronicities happening for you in a really good way. So, you know, this is just something to work with. Let's go ahead and get a message for you, Cancer. You have two messages that come out for you. Um, you're the only other sign through this week that has received this. I believe Aquarius was the other one that received two Oracle messages. So the first one you have is you need to ignore what everyone else is doing and achieving. Your life is about breaking your own limits and outgrowing yourself to live your best life. You are not in competition with anyone else. Plan to outdo your past, not other people. Okay, and the second one is your life is about to start moving quickly in some areas. Events that seem to have been on hold suddenly propel forward. Move with the flow and be mindful of what needs your attention most. Make decisions rationally, be sensibly, but oh, make decisions rationally, but sensibly. Okay, so this is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.